Black holes are undoubtedly among the most frightening and mysterious formations that the gigantic expanses of the cosmos have to offer. It's well known that the mass monsters irrevocably absorb everything that comes too close to them. But what would actually happen if we ourselves fell into one of these gravity monsters? And how did an astronomical object manage to do the almost impossible and escape the grip of a black hole at the last moment? Let's look for answers together and delve deeper into the bizarre world of cosmic gluttons. Have you always wanted to know where black holes get their power from, how stars are born, and what secrets the universe has been hiding since time immemorial? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell to learn more about these exciting topics on a regular basis. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Mysterious Colossi How do supermassive black holes form? What happens to the matter that collapses into such a structure? And might we possibly even live on the inside of one of these gravity monsters? These and further questions show us once more the significant questions that still overshadow the probably most bizarre formations of the cosmos. Even though there are still some big mysteries about black holes to be solved in the future, some characteristics of these objects have already been revealed. For example, black holes are known for one fundamental property in particular, their incomparable gravitational force, which nothing and nobody can escape. In detail, nothing that has passed the event horizon of a black hole can return again from the inside to the outside, not even light. Because of this, strictly speaking, the structures appear invisible to our eyes. All we can see of them are the elemental effects they cause in their environment. But what's the background of this unreached cosmic power? Well, if we want to unravel the mystery of black hole mass attraction, we have to consider the extreme compactness of these astronomical mysteries. As we know, the diameter of our sun is about 900,000 miles. If a black hole had the same mass as our host star, the diameter of its event horizon would be only about four miles. In turn, a black hole with the mass of the Earth would be as large as a marble. While we do not yet understand much about the formation mechanisms of supermassive black holes, which sometimes exceed the mass of the Sun by a factor of billions, the matter of their lower mass counterparts is much more revealing. According to this, stellar black holes are born as soon as a star of a certain size has reached the last chapter of its life. Once its nuclear fuel is depleted, the glowing body collapses under its own gravitational pressure into an incomparably compact object. Given the destructive properties inherent in black holes, one might think that we are dealing with cosmic destruction machines that literally annihilate everything. But this is not quite true. In order to be engulfed by a black hole, an object must come into close contact with its event horizon. Outside this death zone, the gravity monsters behave like ordinary celestial bodies that will orbit on stable paths. In fact, it's now certain that the invisible colossi decorate the centers of galaxies, where they play an important role in their development. Our Milky Way is no exception. Sagittarius A star, for example, has about 4.2 million solar masses and lies about 26,600 light years from our parent star. Cosmic Struggle for Survival from the investigations of Sagittarius A star, so far it became clear that in the areas around the hidden Colossus, there are several different objects. These include stars and up to 20,000 other black holes, as well as the gas clouds that experts refer to as G objects. A few years ago, the gas cloud G2 was to come into the field of vision of scientists, where it caused a mixture of shocked admiration and incredulous amazement. Because actually, this structure, which exceeds the mass of our Earth by about threefold, had succeeded in something that hardly anybody had thought possible. G2 survived the direct approach to Sagittarius A star. At first, astronomers noticed that the object had set course for the gravity monster. Then, in 2013, parts of G2 were recorded, moving to within about 16 billion miles of the central black hole. Although the gas cloud was pulled apart during this brute force approach, the front part of the cloud 
had already managed to pass the point of closest approach and break free from the grip of Sagittarius A-star. But how was this possible at all? How did the gas object manage to avert the astronomical death sentence, which seemed to be already signed in the end? To understand this, we have to turn back the wheel of time by a few years. For example, researchers discovered G2 in 2006, while the object was plummeting toward the Milky Way's center at a rapid pace of about 10 million miles per hour. At that time, scientists predicted that G2 would be swallowed up by Sagittarius A star in about eight years. But it was all to turn out quite differently. Instead of falling into the maw of the cosmic glutton, the gas cloud circled the black hole and then began to move away at an even faster pace. This phenomenon seemed so unbelievable to astronomers that they initially spoke of a kind of space blackout. In the course of subsequent investigations, it became apparent that the shape of G2 initially changed during the approach, but then returned to its original shape. But that was not all. The fact that the structure was unusually hot also puzzled experts. Apparently, this heat was excited inside the object. From these circumstances, the researchers derived an insightful conclusion. G2 is not a gas cloud at all in the classical sense, but the dense atmosphere of a star. Therefore, it was the gravity of the star which saved G2 from its fate to be pulled into the black hole. Some scientists will then deepen the background of this stellar fight for survival still further. If one follows the theory that astrophysicists at the University of Cologne introduced into the field, G2 is not only composed of one, but of three stars, which are estimated to be one million years old. According to this, the glistening celestial bodies are still in cosmic diapers. Fall into the unknown. While we have now looked at how G2 managed to escape the grip of Sagittarius A star, we would like to conclude our video today by addressing another question. What would actually happen if a human were to be engulfed by a black hole? Although we still don't know, what would really happen if we fell into a black hole? Researchers agree on one thing, such a trip would have no return. Even before we reach the event horizon of the mass monster, our body would be spaghettified as a result of the tidal forces. This refers to the grotesque deformation of objects caught in the invisible grip of a black hole. We would like to continue our exciting mental game, however. Thus, our view would reach the gigantic accretion disk, which consists of plasma and rotates with the approximate speed of light around the central gravity monster. Leaving aside the ultraviolet, gamma, and X-ray radiation that would roast us alive, in the following minutes of our fall, it would appear as if the black hole were drifting away from us and shrinking. This phenomenon is called optical aberration by the experts. Henceforth, we would fall at an ever-increasing speed toward the cosmic colossus, chasing it through space at 4% the speed of light, while the entities in front of us would shine brightly. All that lies behind us would be plunged into impenetrable darkness. The Doppler effect sends its regards. The moment in which we dive into the event horizon would again be accompanied by the bisection of reality. Yes, you have heard correctly. Against the background of the Hawking paradox, one version of ourselves would be found dead, while the other one would find itself alive inside of the mass monster. Astronomical Loophole At this point, however, we should mention that these are explicitly unconfirmed theories. How the detour into a black hole would turn out in reality, nobody can say with last certainty. And nevertheless, it's necessary to clarify one last question at this point. What would happen then? After all, the elementary structures are known as cosmic prisons, which let nothing and nobody escape. Is there, against all probabilities, a way to escape from the inside of a black hole? The exciting answer to this question is possibly yes. So some experts suppose that black holes could form wormholes together with white holes, which lead into completely different parts of the cosmos, or even into a parallel world. In this way, the information paradox could be solved, too. According to this, the matter absorbed by a black hole would be spat out by a white hole at another place. The expression at another place refers to the spatial as well as to the temporal level, so that all excursions into the past would be possible. Although the existence of white holes, which differ in the direction of passage compared to their black counterparts, is still not confirmed, some scientists speculate 
that even the birth of the universe could be considered a white hole. And now it's your turn. What do you think about the elemental power of black holes and G2's successful fight for survival? We are already looking forward to your comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other videos on our channel, which we have linked for you here in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.